G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Critic Kebab, and I'm here at the Gabba for the 2020 AFL Grand Final between the Richmond Tigers and the Geelong Cats. A historic moment in Australian sporting history because this is the first time that the AFL Grand Final is being played outside of Victoria and is being played in Queensland here in Brisbane at the Gabba. I'm extremely excited, hopefully it's a crack cracking game, even though it's a bit rainy, it's a bit drizzly, but that shouldn't stop these two amazing teams, the two best teams in the club, for hopefully giving us a great show. I'm excited, hopefully you guys are excited, I'm going to give you the full match day experience here at the Gabba. Let's get into it. obviously a huge game I say I do think that Richmond and Geelong were the two best teams in the competition uh, this year they both deserve to be fighting for the Premiership uh, even though they both finished third and fourth respectively uh, it's gonna be a huge game today uh, obviously Gary Ablett it's his last game he's gonna be ending it with a final and hopefully he can finish it off with a Premiership I think that'd be a great way to cap off his amazing uh, career as a, as a footballer yeah, obviously Paddy Dangerfield is huge as well. He hasn't had the opportunity to fight for a grand final yet, so this is his first chance. That's gonna be huge. I'm excited to see what he does in the big dance. But of course, you look at Richmond, and they've got so many great players. They've got a fantastic team. There's a reason why they've been dominating the competition the last couple of years. Obviously, Jack Rewell, Tom Lynch, Trent Cotchin. There's so many great players. The list just goes on and on. So I'm excited to see who stands up and how we go. Obviously, Dustin Martin, Let's see what he, what he brings out of the bag this time. He always plays well in finals. And now that he's on the biggest stage of all in Brisbane, it's going to be crazy. Hopefully, it's a great game. Even though it's super, super cloudy, overcast, rainy, it's not the best vibe here in Brisbane today. And obviously, it's been sunny for the longest time. And on, on the main day, it has to rain, which is not the most ideal. But I'm super excited, two great teams. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what happens. The last time these two teams faced off in a grand final, I believe, was 1967. So it's been a long time since Richmond and Geelong have got to this stage against each other. So I'm eager to see who comes out on top. These are two like teams that have always been very consistent the last couple of years, especially Geelong. Uh, so hopefully they can get a reward for their consistency over the last two decades, I would say. But obviously, we're in the dynasty of Richmond at the moment. They're just in such great form. They're always such a great team. So we'll see what ends up happening today. I'll say it's not too busy at the moment. We'll say we came in when the gates opened. So uh, I'm going to try and get some, uh, some of my thoughts out now whilst it's relatively quiet, uh, even though you can probably hear the loudspeaker. Now, my prediction is I think that Geelong might just edge it over Richmond. I have no idea though. I think it'll be a close game. It's going to be a very tight, congested game because it is a wet surface. It is going to be a wet game. I think it's going to be pretty low scoring. In saying that, I think Geelong has been so consistent. They're going to have that edge of trying to get Gary Apple over the line. And I think Richmond, they're a great team, but I, I think this is Geelong's time this year. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how these two systems really match up against each other because they're very, both very distinct, but when they're executed effectively, they're very difficult teams to beat. So uh, I think it's going to be a stalemate for the most part, but I think Geelong is going to edge it by seven points. That's my early prediction, uh, but probably we'll get to the end of this video and I'll be, I'll be completely wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll soon find out.
crazy atmosphere in here. Absolutely electric. Gary Ablett's just gone off injured. Uh, not sure what's wrong with him, but and there seems to be another injured uh, Richmond player down. Crazy that a major injury has happened in a couple seconds between two major players. First quarter, we've had it all. We've had streakers, we've had injuries, plenty of good football. So let's see what the rest of the game brings. Uh, it seems to be pretty even at the moment, so we'll see what happens.
Absolutely incredible. Wow. Great first half of football. The halftime show was even better. Uh, so hopefully the second half can lift the intensity. Uh, it's still a close game, only 15 points. I'll uh, say so Geelong is up 35 to Richmond 20. I'll uh, say so there's still plenty of football to be played. So many moments can change a game. So we'll see what happens in the second half. Great first half, only can get better.
Richmond get an early goal in the fourth. Geelong have eight points to chase down. Can they get it in the final quarter? Let's see.
to present the Jock McGowan medal, the coach, the winning coach, the 2020 AFL Toyota Premiership from Richmond, Damien Harvey. A crazy night. A phenomenal game, phenomenal entertainment, and this is an experience that will never happen at the Gabba again. I am so fortunate to be here. I was, I absolutely loved it. It would have been so much better if my beloved Brisbane Lions were in the grand final, playing at their home stadium, but I, I, I genuinely do think that these were the two best teams in the competition. And uh, Geelong, I think, dominated the first half of the game, and then Richmond just flipped a switch and came back in the second half and just 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 dominated and deserved to win another premiership three premierships in four years that's very impressive I'll say there was so many so much happened to this game uh, it was not only was it a great game with amazing performances but there was wipeouts intense injuries uh, I'll say from where I was sitting there was a very brief fight that happened right next to us which was crazy uh, even though I kind of missed all the punches that were thrown and stuff uh, on camera uh, so that was insane. We had some streakers come onto the field, kick the footy right up to us. Uh, it was insane. This game had literally everything you could ask for an entertainment experience. The performance by Shepard and all the other bands and musicians was fantastic. Insane atmosphere. And for those who are also there, uh, you guys can testify this was an amazing experience. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and for you guys who unfortunately couldn't make it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down and hit that like button. I would really appreciate you guys' support. Uh, comment below if you think I should do this uh, next season. I know it's the end of the season now. Um, I might do this with the Brisbane Lions, continue some coverage and uh, bring you guys some uh, more match day vlogs and experiences. In saying that, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There'll be more movie related content and sport related content coming to the channel of Critic Kebab. So make sure you guys are subscribed and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and Richmond Tigers 2020 premieres of the AFL. Well deserved. Have a good night everyone.